Jackson. Carol, our top story concerns a shipment of nuclear weapons and perhaps some political confusion. The 3,000 demonstrators were orderly and they were quiet early this morning as they walked toward the gates of the U.S. Army barracks in Bremerhaven, West Germany. But they came there to protest the deployment of nuclear weapons in their country, and in doing so, they presented a perceived threat of political violence to the police, 6,000 of them who guarded the gates. As they sat down in the main roadway, the police moved in and they began making arrests. 250 demonstrators were carried away on this, the first of three planned days of anti-nuclear protests in the North Sea port. At issue are 572 new medium-range nuclear missiles, weapons the Reagan administration is threatening to deploy if there is no progress in the Geneva arms talks by year's end. And at this hour, any such progress is in grave doubt. In a catch-22 proposition, the Soviets say they'll pull out if the U.S. deploys the weapons. So the negotiations can be characterized as more than just stalled. They may have a terminal disease, a disease brought on by the Soviets and the Reagan administration's intent to make the most of this new political year in the United States. And perhaps not fully understanding those undercurrents, the demonstrators in Western Europe will continue going to jail. Jackson Bain, Satellite News Channel. Henry Kissinger, the most intentionally visible member of the Bipartisan Commission on Central America, had a revealing quote for reporters before flying off to another Central American capital today. Kissinger said that human rights abuses must be curbed before any additional U.S. aid can be committed. Well, he was talking about El Salvador's rightist groups, but his message echoed through most of the Central American jungles. You see, Kissinger's public mission is to write a report for President Reagan outlining possible U.S. goals in the region. But there's another, perhaps more urgent, task at hand. That is, to reinforce the warning that the American people don't much care for murder. They find it difficult to support nervous governments and small countries which passively accept murder. Human rights hasn't been talked about much in the past couple of years, but American political pollsters have now discovered that a lot of folks still care about such things. One might speculate then that the Bipartisan Commission and its leader, Henry Kissinger, is in Central America to make certain that no local violence and disregard of human rights injures political hopes here in this country. I'm Jackson Bain, Satellite News Channel. We know now, of course, that William P. Clark, longtime friend and trusted advisor of President Ronald Reagan, is going to be the nominee, is the nominee, for Interior Secretary to replace James Watt. What we haven't known until now is the man who will replace Clark as the head of the National Security uh, Council. It is one of the most sensitive jobs in government, as we've talked about before, but most especially that under Clark's regime in the National Security Council, it has become more powerful than usual, perhaps as powerful as it used to be under Henry Kissinger. Well, White House sources have told the Satellite News Channel just a short time ago that the man who will probably take Bill Clark's place as head of the NSC is Colonel, or actually retired Colonel, Robert Bud McFarlane. McFarlane, of course, is President Reagan's uh, Middle East envoy at the moment, and he's on his way back to the White House right now, and he will meet with President Reagan in the morning. At that time, we expect an announcement on McFarlane's uh, replacement uh, as the head of the uh, National Security Council. We may, we do not have a name, however, yet, as president for President Reagan's uh, uh, Middle East envoy. Well, hang in there. Maybe give us another try hour, to, we'll get that one, too. To get in the that. meantime, uh, uh, McFarlane, of course, uh, an experienced uh, diplomat, uh, a foreign service guy, a, a military lot of experience. service. Uh, a lot of experience. Uh, it, Bud McFarlane came out of the National Security Agency, the super secret group of folks out in Maryland, just uh, north of Washington. Bud McFarlane is a highly honored uh, uh, Army uh, type. Uh, Bud McFarlane also was Henry Kissinger's deputy under the National Security Council under uh, President Ford. 